Hi folks, uh, I did a couple for you yesterday, but unfortunately I disturbed or altered the resolution on the camera from 720 to to AHD, blah blah blah, blah. Well, nothing on my laptop would, um, would download that, it had to be converted, but I, it, my, my laptop, Windows, won't accept uh, handbrake. As far as I know, we've been fiddling around with it. So, if anybody knows how to how to trans how to change the resolution on my SD card from the high resolution uh, to uh, to MP4, I'll be very grateful. But it has to be simple for me. Right, I'll show you the two I did. And if they if if I ever do get this SD card working as it should, I'll, I'll post them. But there's this one. It was just a sort of uh, field with just a bit of a, a foreground here. It's just a simple Norfolk, Suffolk type ploughed field and a big sky. Uh, so that was one. So I was just sad about that. Uh, this is acrylic. I'm just using acrylic at the moment. And the other one I did, well, was uh, what's this? It's only a small 10 by 8. Can you see that? There we are. That was my, my little acrylic for the day, acrylic uh, abstract, expressionism. <coughs> I like black, I think, the, because obviously the contrast between it and white background. But it was fun to do. I, I added a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of yellow ochre. Uh, and then I just went over with a painting knife, doing through that and then spreading. It was a good fun. It didn't take me long to do a, a sort of uh, France or France Klein. I find it very inspirational and I'm thinking, well, he got away with it, why can't I? But obviously he had much more to say than I did. But uh, I'm not going to stop doing them. I enjoy doing them. Uh, it's, it, it breaks the, uh, the cycle of acrylic watercolour oil, which I've been doing for years and years and years. So uh, I'll, uh, I want to do a, uh, another a, a meadow and try to abstract it a little bit in the sky, a bit, bit of drama in the sky. This is on, on a th thicker cartridge paper than the than my 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 books, my sketchbooks. The C C white, the the, the the latest one, the C white A3 cartridge paper, 160 grams, which is heavier than anything else I've got as cartridge paper. So um, we're we trying to have some fun with this one. I've got to, some vermilion, ultramarine, spurciana, plains grey, yellow ochre and uh, cadmium yellow. <coughs> There's the brush. There we go. Alright, let's just turn that down to there. So back to more traditional stuff. The, this bit of white here, that's uh, the sun reflecting off the uh, carpet. So that's... Uh, so, oh, no, I won't use that brush, I'll use uh, my new, uh, when I find it. It's quite amazing, my brush has just vanished. Uh, so here, here's one, one of the three I bought in Bungay, in a lovely art shop there, if you're ever that way. It's on the Norfolk, Suffolk border, we were there last uh, not last week, the week before, for seven days, that's why I didn't do any work. Uh, right, okay, so here we go. So a bit of, just a bit of water on the brush. And we're going for a bit of a blue. I'm going to add a bit of, bit of paint to that. Uh, 
I put to them, I think I got hacked on Facebook, uh, with a message purporting to come from Facebook, you'll be locked you'll, because somebody's made a complaint, blah, blah, blah. Absolute rubbish. And if I don't uh, contact them on, on, the, on a particular URL, I'm done. Well, I'm not. Okay, so ooh, let's go wide. Well, if I put the dark on, you can go over it with the light. You get your contrast. It's quite a tough paper, this. I left my wife watching Fake or Fortune, which is a wonderful BBC production with uh, Philip Mould and, and uh, Oh, I can't remember the names now. Fiona, Fiona, Fiona Bruce. Uh, they go around uh, trying to prove or disprove a, a, a masterpiece is, is what it says it purports to be. And it's a really engaging programme. Uh, but the one they're checking out is... Uh, a lighthouse. Prove it is Tur actually Turner, because he's the most copied, one of the most copied artists ever. It's nice and dark. Plenty of red in there. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, oh, I'm worn out. Been on the bike ride this morning along the, the Wandle. There's a bit of the Wandle, the, 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 actually the Wandle goes through part of Beddington, uh, not Beddington, uh, Morden Hall Park, you've heard me speak about it many times. Uh, that, uh, there's a boardwalk through what they call the wetlands. And it have, there was a flood some time ago, two or three years ago, probably longer than that now and the whole area flooded because it's very close to the water table and uh, a lot of fish it escaped from the wandle and got into this pond uh, and have been there ever since and they chub and um, and roach and a, a, a guy comes along every day and he chucks in handfuls of meal, mealworms well, of course they love that. It's like a, a feeding frenzy. And these, these uh, fish are up to about a foot long, some longer. And it's a wonderful sight to see. Okay, right, now we've got that on. Let's start building up this sky. Get this, uh, oh, I need, a, I need my cloth. Where's my cloth? So that's what my wife's doing. It's her birthday tomorrow. Don't tell you how old she is. Right, okay, let's uh, put in some bit of ochre, a bit of white, a bit of red. Oh, hold on. I can listen some The renegade cat, white cat, took all the doors away. Causes mayhem. So, uh, so we always keep an ear out for any shenanigans in the garden. By this, it's a beautiful, beautiful cat, looking cat. But it's got a nasty nature. It attacks other cats. It's very territorial. My lovely cat isn't. But it does get into the other battle with him. 
Oh, okay, where were we? Oops. Right, okay, that's a... And I always use this like that, this and get the background done and then start to, to take advantage of the contrast. and everything. Going down to the horizon. Why the brush has gone like that, can't you? Oh, I've got a cup of tea here. Ah! Well, I'll, I'll leave that now and go back onto some uh, trees. Yes. Red, blue. Using that counter change. I don't want everything to be the, look the same. Very, very strong. Pretty Cairo in these bushes. Now 
Now the joy of acrylic is that you can, it dries very quickly and you can change it quite quickly, you blot out, whatever you like. Uh, right, okay. So we've got darker there, I've, I've, I've got to get my counts changed now. So if I want nice dark green there, a bit of, bit of dark orange in there, eh? Sort of dark. Go the kind of dark. Sienna in the sky. Ah, oh, that's good, that dark. A bit lighter. I want my bed in the turn did his skies as quick as that. Right. Go back with that lovely yellow. Put a pathway through there. I got that bright orangey colour right here. Got some nice meadow grass. This is sort of a as abstract as I'm going to get it today. Let's just counter change there again. Coming through there, so I'll we'll put that in. All right, let's get a bit of nice modeling in. Feel that. Got a bit of variety in there. Oh, that's 
same. Interesting. Uh. Mm -hmm. I like to keep myself company. Occurred. Well, there's a thing. Well, that politics are very interesting, aren't they? Interesting, shall I say? Feather that a little bit. We go back to that. Right now, now the fun begins. I've got to resolve that bit there. If this is coming on, uh, so I'll get my my lovely little stippled brush. Have a swig of tea. to change. This is a 16 by 12 piece of cartridge paper. Is the, the maker is C White Brighton on the South Coast. changing uh, that's 
dark as light, so let's get some light. Just the wilderness of colour. Just to ring the changes, get some colour in here, bit of red, bit of white. Let's get a bit of light here. Let's get some uh, stipple, good stipple, raw sienna, a bit of white. Just bang it on, because with acrylic, as I say, you can change it very quickly. is uh, <coughs> very easy to do, push as much as pull. Terry Harrison used to do all this with a, with a sponge. Terry Harrison was a very well known popular demonstrator and artist. Died several years ago. I've got a couple of videos somebody gave me of, of one or two of his watercolour demos. He was a very, very good painter. Alright, now then, let's uh, get some more dark in that foreground, more greeny dark. some light.
some of some leaves. Oh, got a bit of like that. Oh, it's sort of abstract foreground. Let's uh, go some darker green in here because that's all in shadow. Get away through. Uh, drink some tea. I'm dehydrated from my bike ride. <coughs> it's a very cold start this morning. But my three pals only had their gloves and I couldn't find mine. It's the same every year. It gets uh, to, the, to, to uh, autumn. The warmer clothes and gloves start coming out from odd places. Uh, well, we've got, to, we've got to do something with that. So let's get in with a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of white. Let's cover that mauve up a bit. I don't like that bit there. I need more more light on that. So just the yellow and a bit of a bit of white. Catching the light from somewhere. Let's get some yellow ochre in. I've done this one lots of times, or well, versions of it. I don't. I'm just working this for my feeble imagination. Get 
some new glasses here. Do a subtle blending there. Little bits are missing up here, so I get the uh, sipple brush out of the water. I have a quick swing of tea. Okay. Nice are going into 
dark colour. Uh, right, um, turning my head from one side to the other and I've got a really sore neck. So I'm not really sure about this one. Um. figures in that. Uh, what I'll do, I'll make sure it's dry, and then I'll just scumble over it because it's a uh, Now, the, I know the, the uh, painting is not in keeping with the rest of it, different technique, but it doesn't matter because uh, I'm going to uh, 
I've scumbled over this. Right, so I'll uh, just use do a bit on this guy. For that to just to dry off, I want a bit of that to colour, a bit of white. Well, okay, that'll do. Uh, I'll put it in a mouth, I've done enough, I can't do any more to it. At this stage, anyway. Uh, Alright, uh, move that over to the centre. More or less. A uh, bit of tape. Stop it from falling down the page. And, uh, right, uh, mount. No, cool. There we are, we've got another sort of painting. <coughs> I think I'll uh, change a little bit of that. Uh, just a bit there, just a bit of, bit of the greeny stuff. Okay, that's it. Well, it's not too bad, is it? But I haven't really got the uh, got that right. So let's. Uh... So we've uh, got a lot of water in it. Uh, right, so that's better. So we've caused some of that uh, skylight. Okay, right, well, that's the best I can do with that one. Let's just take the hair off of it.
Right, okay. No, no branches or anything in that. Uh, clip up. Right, okay. I hope you like that one, folks. I'll, uh, I'm going to do an abstract now. But I'm just going to clean my brushes. And then trying to make up for the waste of time yesterday. Good brush. Now you have to shake your, all the water out of the ferrule of the uh, brushes. I'm sure, you know that. Otherwise, you start painting and it starts dribbling out. Right, okay, well, there we are. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I could lower that, but it's a right pain. Hold on. Okay, folks, well, see you, see you soon. I'll go on with this other one. And either, hopefully, they will be on Facebook. Bye bye.